Hey everybody, Dairy Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Gakuen Club. We're following Toma Sakai, inching our way into his heart. Uh, we found out that he used to be a model and he's trying to make his comeback soon. But I'm worried he might be a little too thin. Maybe he's trying a little too hard to uh, keep in shape and went a little too far. But let's see if we can find out any more information. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Not long after starting my shift at the club, I'm asked to go out and buy inventory for the weekend. Apparently, there were some order slip-ups, and our stocks are experiencing some shortages. Kamiki told me to wait here, but does that mean he's going to join me? I didn't ask. Sorry, were you waiting long? Kamiki says while he rushes over to me, but he's not alone. Oh, Sakai? I see Sakai behind Kamiki. You're going to come with us too, Sakai? He simply nods. Alright, they just say the names too much. I'm going to start using pronouns. They're not using pronouns in this game at all. Kamiki caught me. Does that mean he's getting dragged along against his will? Is that okay? You don't have other plans? It's fine. Well, as long as that's the case... You worry too much. Oh, he's smiling! Sakai slightly softens his expression and pokes me in the head. Oh, he's being affectionate! All right, then shall we go on our three-person date, then? Date? Hold on, why am I being included? What do you mean, being included? He's the tag-along. Sakai looks clearly unhappy with Kamiki's use of the word date. Why? Doesn't the date sound fun? Um... Whatever, let's just go. Sakai says sounding exasperated, and he begins to walk away. Oh. Why is Tom always like this? Well, shall we go then? Okay. And so Kamiki, Sakai, and I head out to go shopping. Hooray! Wow, look at how big this place is. The shopping mall they bought me to was so large and beautiful. I didn't know a place like this existed so close to the academy. I haven't been out a lot since coming to the school. Let's just buy what we need and get out of here. Oh, no fun, huh? No, no. No need to rush. Besides, I think this is the first time she's ever been here. Is that true? Um, yes, that's true. I still don't know the area very well. Oh, I see. Do you have everything you need? Like, my daily necessities? Hmm. To be honest, there's a lot of things I'd like, but... Asakai had thought, I've been so busy after school that I haven't had time to go shopping at all. Then why don't you go buy some of those while we're here too? Oh, but... The reason we've come to the shopping mall today is to buy inventory for the nightclub. Is it really appropriate for me to do personal shopping? Well, if there isn't anything you need, you don't have to. There are some things I do need, so I do appreciate that you bought it up. Yeah, it's not a problem at all. We can buy whatever you want here before we go. As long as there's time? Thank you. Uh, I turn in surprise to see a small girl standing there. I'm sorry, are you okay? I squat down to be at eye level with the girl. You're not my mom. Does that mean she's... Did you get separated from your mom? Yeah. Maybe my words have only made things worse as the little girl begins to cry. Where did my mommy go? Don't worry, we'll help you find your mom, okay? I try my hardest to get the girl to stop crying, but she's showing no signs of stopping. I bet. Tomo will fix things. Oh no, we can't start looking for our mother until we get her to stop crying. When are you going to stop crying? Crying isn't going to help us find your mother. Sakai, you don't have to be that harsh. Now, now, Toma, what kind of man makes a girl feel that way? Kamiki chides Sakai and picks up the crying little girl. It's not your fault. Everybody would feel sad and lonely if they suddenly found themselves alone. It's all going to be okay. Perhaps it's Kamiki's soothing tone, but the girl gradually stops crying. Aww, so... Kamiki's good with kids. Well, that's right. Sadness doesn't suit a little girl like you. Oh, I'm glad she stopped crying. Now we can help her find her mother. Yes, we should find her mother for her as soon as possible. Then, let's take her to the information desk. We can look along the way. 
Reggie sets the girl down and leads her by the hand when the girl suddenly breaks out into a smile. Oh, mommy! No, that was fast. What? Without any regard to my surprise, the girl lets go of Kamiki's hand and runs toward a woman who must be her mother. Oh, I was so worried about you. How many times have I told you not to let go of my hand? I'm sorry. I am so sorry for any trouble my daughter may have caused you. Oh, I'm just glad she's reunited with her mother now. And don't get separated from your mother again, okay? Okay. The girl is firmly holding her mother's hand as they leave. <sighs> now can we start shopping? Oh, that's right. We came here to shop. Please don't tell me you've forgotten why we've come here. Uh, of course not. No, we just got momentarily distracted. All right, let's go then. So, what do we need to buy first? Um, fruit maybe? Oh, that's this way then. Kamiki leads us to the grocery section. We've arrived at the grocery section. Let's see, grapefruit, oranges... I place the food items into the cart as I read them off a shopping list. There's enough still on the list to justify coming with three people. Wait, in that case, these are cheaper because they're on sale. Sakai says as he places the item into the cart. That's a little surprising. Does Sakai often go out shopping for food? We continue to fill the cart with the items from the list. Are we not done shopping yet? It's Sakai that says that after he had disappeared for a while. He's holding a basket filled with vegetables and other items. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't know you had that kind of side, Toma. You went and bought us more things from the list. What are you talking about? These are for my own meals. What? Do you cook for yourself? Yes. Is there something wrong with me cooking my own food? No, I didn't mean it like that. To be perfectly honest, I'm really surprised to learn that Sakai cooks. The dorm food is very heavy. Heavy? I guess there's a lot of fried food. Does he really have to worry about his diet that much? Well, yeah, he's a model. Anyway, let's hurry up and get this over with. We still have more on the list. Oh, sorry. As we turn to move to a different section. You there. Would you like to try some of these? A clerk approaches us and offers us sausages to try. What? Really? Of course. Kamiki accepts the sausage from the clerk and pops it in his mouth. Oh, that's good. I've never had anything like that before. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Here, why don't you try some too? No, that's all right. Not even a bite? Oh, don't be so modest. Come on, try some. <sighs> we finish the samples and thank the clerk before returning to shopping. But we're invited to try out samples at every turn. Oh no, poor, poor Toma. Try some if you like. Thank you. We're not getting anywhere with our shopping. Everywhere we go, Kamiki and Sakai are stopped and offered samples. I guess I can understand it. They're both so handsome. While they draw enough attention in the academy, they both stand out even more here in public. I mean, just walking down this food section, I've caught so many women turning their heads and staring at them. Sakai can be unsparing, but he is rather upstanding, and Kamiki is kind to girls. It's no wonder they're popular. These are the thoughts I have as I carry my shopping basket, watching them from a distance. From a distance? How far behind am I walking? Oh, that was a really short chapter. But nothing I can do about that. Next chapter could be longer. I don't know how long. It's best to just keep it one chapter per video. All right, well, sorry that's a short one for the day. But I hope to see you tomorrow. It looks like we're still not finished the shopping trip, so hope to see you in the next episode to finish the shopping trip. Or perhaps in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.